Hello and welcome to TechBoost TV. Today I'm going to show you how to install memory into an HP Z4 G4 workstation. Before beginning, we recommend checking with the manufacturer to make sure the latest firmware is installed. For this installation, you will not need any tools. Take special note to review memory terms and their relevance including memory rank, chip count, and DIMM size. There are a total of 8 DDR4 memory slots on the motherboard that can support either 2666 or 2933 MHz DIMMs. Each slot can support up to 32GB of RAM, or 64GB if you're using an Intel Xeon W2200 family processor. For optimal performance, DIMMs should be equally distributed across all four memory channels. Since there are many possible memory configurations, we suggest reviewing the chart on the screen to identify optimal balanced memory placements. Although other configurations may work, they will introduce additional overhead that will slow down data transfer speeds. To begin, ensure your computer is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Next, press and hold the power button until the light is completely shut off to ensure there is no residual power remaining on the motherboard. To open the system, lift the latch found on the side and remove the panel to reveal the interior. Next, you'll have to push the blue tab on the air shroud, then lift up to reveal the memory banks. Each slot on the motherboard is numbered from 1 to 8, indicating the order in which they should be loaded. Please refer to the diagram on the screen to ensure you are loading the memory in the proper order. To install memory into its memory slot, align the memory with the proper slot and press down, ensuring both retainer clips snap into place and the stick is securely installed. Lastly, you will need to replace the air shroud and reattach the outer panel. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, RAM, hard drive, and video card installations, as well as general product overviews for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy requesting more content.